What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Kevin World Truck Series season with Matt Crafton. And today, ladies and gentlemen, is the sixth race of the NASCAR Truck Series season. We're here at Dover for the Dover 200. Uh, after another 30 second place qualifying, uh, we start at the rear of the field. And uh, after our thrilling win back in Charlotte, this race is. I don't know how this race is going to go, but let's find out as we're going to go here in Dover. Here's Miles the Monster. So here we go. Green flag is out. Ten laps in stage one. And let's see what happens from here on out. See how we do here in Dover. <coughs> oh, we gave up the bottom line. spots we have had a strong run the first five races or so but we might not even get a top five finish or even a top ten Dover just has never been my racetrack this game or NASCAR Heat Evolution, so... to go on stage one here in Dover. Alright guys, here we go. Last lap in stage one here in Dover. Rallying Greenfield, Clay Greenfield for the 22nd position. for stage one we're going to pick up a 20 second place finish in stage one not where we want it but oh, man we're going to stay out let's check out who won the stages 
So Ryan Truex, Christopher Bell, Ben Rhodes, Chase Briscoe, Noah Gregson, John Hunter Newcheck, Austin Wayne Austin Cindric, JJ Yaley, JJ Yaley, and Tyler Young round out the top ten. So we're gonna restart 22nd here in Dover as we're getting ready for stage two once again. And so the green flag is out, and here we go. Back to green flag racing in Dover. Another 10 more laps. Contact with Travis Quaffle. Someone's really up wide. Turn one and two. Then we got under Matt uh, Snyder. Oh, underneath our teammate Cody Coughlin with Todd Gillen. Nearly three wide. I'll turn four. Oh, someone's spinning. Oh, right, it's Ryan Trash. Oh, he was the race leader. Matt Crafton gets involved. Oh, man. Ryan Trucks goes around while leading this race. We're going to stay out. <laughs> man. Stay out with, with the damage. I, I try to avoid Truex, and we got in the middle of it. Hopefully, Truex gets back out there. He was leading this race, so here we go with the restart. Green flag back out in the air and over, and here we go once again. Our teammate Grant Enfinger is right behind us. Oh, oh. oh Grant, we have we're on call, you call on our other teammate. Did not I did not like what uh, Granny Finger did right there. Okay, okay. We're gonna let Granny Finger go and we're gonna finish 15th at stage two. Ben Rhodes picks up the win in stage one. Ryan Truex out of the race. <coughs> I think if we were a duty day, we would have came down pit road before the caution, but we we started 15th. Let's see what we can do here. So the final stage here and over. 
Here we go. 26 laps to go in Dover. Way too tight. Oh, oh. I think we should have came down pit road. I've never really been strong in Dover. Wow, the car is just way too tight. The truck's just way too tight. And we got stuck on the outside line. We're at Kraft and just, we're just hanging on right now. We're back to 18th after being in the top 10. Crossover by Matt Crafton on his teammate Cody Coughlin. Seventeen left to go in Dover. We're just off right now. If it constantly comes out, we're coming down pit road.
This and four, sir. For Turn four. Twelve laps to go here in Dover. Now we're just struggling. Wow, the car is just trucks way too tight. The only thing that has happened in this race is Ryan Truex, the race leader, gets spun out by Ben Rhodes. And Ben Rhodes is currently leading this race, looking for not only <laughs> for a second, for another playoff point, for more playoff points, but to guarantee himself a spot in the chase for the champ championship for the playoffs. With the last few races, the last eight races of the season, with a few races left in the season, so... Right now, this is our worst race of the season so far here and over. We just have not, we've had speed, but we just can't, we're just, our handling is just way off. I mean, we were making our way up, but our car, our truck just got way too tight the longer run, and obviously just the longer we ran on tires, the car, the truck just got way too tight. We're less than 10 laps to go here in Dover. You're just trying to pick up at least a solid finishing position. Oh wow, the truck got tied. I'll turn two again. Seven laps to go in Dover. Other than that one caution, other than the end of stage one and two, Ryan Truex, obviously that's the biggest story of the race. He goes from winning stage one to having a DNF on the day. After our thrilling win in Charlotte over John Hunter Nemechek, we come into Dover with momentum of five straight consecutive top five finishes and two wins. Now we're going to end up with a terrible finish. No stage points, no playoff points for us in this race. Five laps to go, and we're running back around the 18th, 19th position. Truck is just way too tight. Can't do nothing right now. I'm just ready for this race to be over. I thought I had at least the top, maybe how the caution the stages ended up, and then obviously we try to get something happening. But the truck's been just way too tight once we got halfway. far ahead of the guys behind us so I'm not really worried about the guys behind us as long as I don't hit the wall with three laps to go Two laps to go. All 
Alright, here we go, guys. Last lap. We're gonna end up 19th turned over. And I believe Ben Rhodes has taken the checker flag and won in Dover. Punched his ticket into the championship. We'll find out who won this race as soon as this race concludes. And I'm going to turn three and four and just a disastrous race for us. Just way too tight at the very end, but we're gonna end up finishing in 19th. Not a good race. Ryan Truex out of the race. Noah Gregson had issues as well, and Chris Ben Rhodes takes home the checkered flag for his first win of the season. We lose a lot of points, but the two wins sure help us out. So Ben Rhodes set the fastest lap at a 24.40. He also led the most laps at 37 laps. Uh, I was the biggest mover of the race, started 32nd, finishes 19th. And Ryan Truex started on the pole, finishes dead last. So race six is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> so let's see. We're going to take a look. So race six is going to be the Windstar 400 at the Texas Motor Speedway. Hope to see you guys in Texas. Texas is always a fun race for the truck series as John Hunter Nemechek is currently the championship leader of the regular season by one point over Christopher Bell. And we're fifth in points, nearly 30 three points back so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed the race at Dover if you guys are new like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the Windstar 400 at the Texas Motor Speedway thank you guys for watching I'm Houghton Evolution I'll see you guys later